My opponents fail to realize that by very nature of calling euthanasia a dignified death, we invalidate the terminally ill's dignity by suggesting while living while terminally ill is undignified. The affirmative has implanted a fancy idea of what euthanasia is, something dignified, something scientific. But I'd like you guys all to realize what euthanasia truly is. Imagine the sick standing on the edge of a cliff. Now in this situation, euthanasia is a push to these people, an unnecessary, unneeded push. Euthanasia just doesn't work. Our opponents have listed pain as the reason to implement euthanasia, that withholding euthanasia is cruel. However, Oregon reported that the most frequently cited patient reason for prescription request, or a dignified death request, was the fear of a loss of autonomy, not pain. Adding euthanasia does nothing to quell the fear of the sick. Adding a way to die will only increase the fear in patients and increase the desire to die. As previously said, an overwhelming majority of patients, 81% of patients, according to this Oregon study of euthanasia patients, listed a fear of a loss of autonomy as their reason of suicide. And clearly, we cannot let fear alone dictate the lives of Americans. Now, both the affirmative and... Sorry. Um, pain is not a relevant issue, despite ungrounded claims from the affirmative that it is. I have seen no hard evidence that pain is an issue in this debate. My opponents have also said that legally we should be given the right to take our life into our own hands. And as my partner has said, a major reason that euthanasia is currently illegal in most of the U.S. is to prevent abuse. Anybody can easily take advantage of the terminal ill. From family members dropping hints to insurance companies offering benefits to those who choose euthanasia. As Kat has said, it would offer up, it would offer up more beds to these ill which is likely considering the euthanasia drug is about $35, to just plain doctors making mistakes. We just cannot allow the legalization of euthanasia only to hasten the lives of Americans. As my opponents have argued against, in the United States, sometimes we have to give up a part of our freedom to prevent abuse. Alexa mentioned in her constructive, when the possibility of abuse becomes a reality. How doctors in the Netherlands killed, let me make myself clear, these doctors killed, meaning they were not given the request to euthanize, 500 patients, that's 500 people killed in 2005 alone, that's only one year. Clearly, we cannot risk the same slippery slope effect to happen in the U.S. just to appease their need for freedom. This is especially important considering the annual number of malpractice suits in the U.S., per year, which is, according to the Center for Justice and Democracy, 85,000 malpractice suits a year. That's 85,000 mistakes a year. Which boils down to this question. Would you really want to trust your family's life in the same hands that have made 85,000 mistakes? The affirmative side has not, still not mentioned the Hippocratic Oath. The Hippocratic Oath, to quote, is, I will neither give a deadly drug to anybody if asked for it, nor will I make suggestion to this effect. To quote Leon Cass, MD, in forswearing the giving of patient when poison when asked for it, the Hippocratic physician rejects the view that the patient's choice for death can make killing him right. For the physician, at least, human life and living bodies commands respect and reverence by its very nature. nature. This would uh, stop a covenant that between doctors and patients that has been going on for thousands of years, and we cannot end this. The debate on euthanasia rests on this. What causes the least amount of suffering? Honestly, implementing their proposed system that kills people due to pressure from anything but their own pain, or the slippery slope effect, which is a real problem, or just kills people due to plain old accidents, would be one of the biggest mistakes we could make as a country. Death is not the answer, and we do not lessen the suffering of patients by implementing this. So wise up, America. Euthanasia is the wrong answer to this problem. Thank you. Vote negative.